how to make a stop motion on tablet or phone and with some DIY stuff. Step one though, you need an idea, like write out a script or visualize it. This is how I normally do my stop motions. This was, this was to my channel trailer and I just kind of write out the script and I like to imagine it as I go. But you can also like draw the pictures. It's, that's not what I like doing. But step number two is you need to set up what you directed to like, so whatever you wrote on the script, you need to be able to have it visualized with whatever material you're using. Step three, you need to make sure your camera is stable. And I'm gonna show you a DIY way to do that. Just find like a cardboard box, mark where your tablet or phone will be put, and you just have to cut that with like scissors or a pocket knife. I used the pocket knife. And then yeah, should work. Now it doesn't look good, but it works. It makes your video look good. That's my tab my tablet's quality. That's the like, tablet in the tripod. And yeah, here's the toilet paper. This is this was more for design for phones because a phone doesn't need an entire cardboard cardboard box to you know. But it did hold my tablet. The camera app is just open, pointing at my pocket knife. Oh, and if you don't have lamps, just make sure that your blinds are shut and have your light on above you. You don't want natural light in, you want artificial, I guess, to really reduce the light flicker. And step four, take the photos and put the video together. So now that you're all set up, you're going to want to download the Stop Motion app. I'm going to Stop Motion Studio, which I just tried doing a tutorial on, and it made me really frustrated. This Stop Motion Studio is also on iOS, though. But the I just used it. I couldn't export it. I couldn't add music. <sighs> it was just frustrating so just I don't recommend it but I mean if you're using iOS you might have to plus iOS it might work better let me show you a, a stop motion tutorial pick pack okay all right so it finished installing so now this is the part when you're gonna have to get to like the photography. Oh yeah, that's right. So you're just gonna open it up. That shows you some stop motions made with it. Okay. So, you could just get it from your digital camera if you plug in a micro SD card. That's again for Android. You can just click take photos. You turn on a timer. You can do five seconds. Okay, you have to adjust your camera on your tripod. Alright, so now that. You got your camera ready, you have your, whatever you're using. It has to be on auto for the interval. Well, I guess for this you have to do auto. So five second interval. And you just click play.
So there you have your little stop motion. Okay, well you can try it. So. You have to select your pictures. Every single one of them. And you click next. Okay. Title, give it a title. Tutorial. Directed by. I remember when I first started this channel, I'd always be like, Nandini. Font, I don't care about the font. And you just click create video. And then it says, making my awesome video. Okay, so then it brings you to the video. You can click play, see my amazing three second video. It's mainly just the title, it's so sad. But then you can add some voiceover recording. Tutorial directed by Landini. What up, bro? And you can. Oh, I just realized. Oh no, that doesn't look terrible. Okay. It's not very good audio recording because it's on my tablet. And then you can just get music. That's okay. Well, you can get it from like the internet. I'm not going to choose any due to copyright. Like, it's not copyrighted if you download it and then, like, you let. They crack put what it needs to be put in the description. Then it's legal, not copyright. But if I'm just gonna be playing these and not link, give any credit to them, that's gonna be copyright, so. Yeah, you just play it, see if you want it, and just click the check. And you're good at that. Or you can even search. Like I have one stop motion where I wanted a Batman theme music. I searched Batman. And I searched Batman. And there are some remixes. So yeah, you'll add the music. Then you just click next. Okay. So then it previews it for you with full version. Then you could just upload it directly to YouTube. I recommend doing that because it figures out the copyright reason. Or you could just save it. Do stuff like that. Which is the pink. And then you're good. But I do need to save this so I can... Alright, well thanks for watching the first... Let me turn the volume down to this. Okay, well, thanks for watching the first tutorial Thursday. There'll be new tutorials every Thursday. If you request, I'll more likely do it than the one I want to do. So, yeah, peace. Subscribe. Okay, so also for tutorial Thursdays, they will usually be much shorter than it was today. I'm sorry about today because it was just I had no other option but to make it this long. So thank you for your patience. I'll try only keeping them about a minute from now on. But it just depends on the tutorial. Alright, now subscribe and bye.